Good evening all, Harden here, back with yet another DIR Reflections PvP video. Um, it's Sunday evening here, 7.32 um, on uh, Sunday evening here in Malaysia. Uh, got the kids to bed, we've got an early start tomorrow for school. Haven't had a chance to play this at all, all day, haven't had any matches since last night. Um, after last night's video, I actually was, had a very successful run, actually for the two hour session I did play, actually won every game, didn't lose anything, so uh, I hope my luck continues today. And we can push myself back up the leaderboard, there's only, I think another two or three days of this event left, so it'd be nice to at least stay in the top 50. So. I hope I get a bit of luck in terms of who I'm fighting. So with all that said and done, let's jump in uh, and get started for this evening's session. Uh, as always, the number of games I record will depend on how much time. I don't want to make the video go too long. So once it gets to around the 20, 25 minute mark, we'll decide if we'll continue. All right, so let's jump in anyway. and see what we get. My ships are slightly better than they were yesterday in that I finished um, a small missile skill on Harden which means he's, my ballistic controls now activate for 40 seconds and I managed to get drones expert level 5 finished on my other account second Mary so uh, a few little boosts it won't make that much difference in this but uh, every bit counts all adds up and let's see what we got to go. Oh, an APOC. Wow. Really want to get my tank on quickly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's target the focus fire on the APOC. Focus fire on the APOC. And then let's start orbiting. Yeah, just got to take a bit of a beating while my missiles get there. And they don't seem to be shooting me yet. And then I'm going to take the thorax next and then after that the Abaddon who's a guy I tend to I know this guy this Jabba the Hutt I've fought him a few times it's quite a strong Abaddon oh my god that guy's going down so quick I hadn't even noticed right okay so straight onto the thorax might as well lock up the Abaddon anyway because he's coming closer uh, and let's see how we do on the thorax also approaching, Abaddon's coming in very quick. I think he's actually using an MWD, but he wouldn't be approaching this quick if he wasn't. There we go, thorax is down, so now everything onto him. And what we'll do is we'll approach with this guy. shooting let's get my ballistics turned on I'll focus fire again and get the drones after him as well and let's see how we do if I remember correctly this guy's got a pretty decent tank yeah uh, but he's gonna be webbed soon yeah he's got two neutralizers and tracking disruptor on one of my accounts Will he get in web range? I'm not sure. He's a bit canny, this fella. He's doing some damage to my third raven, but we are chewing through his armor. <coughs> and uh, yeah, chewing through it faster than he's chewing through my other raven. And again, I feel a bit sorry for him. The thorax was obviously of no benefit whatsoever in his gang. And the APOC, again, appeared to have no tank uh, at all and didn't really do much. I would, you would have thought if he doesn't have much tank, he must be doing a lot of damage, but he didn't appear to do much damage. So this poor guy, Jabba the Hutt, unfortunately let down by his teammates here. Yeah. And, yeah, I... Let's have a look. Yeah, he's definitely got a very nice uh, armor tank there. I don't really need to have this on there. All our drones are on him. Yeah, but there's no way. I mean, my little squad can kill nightmares and rattlesnakes. There's no way an Abaddon's gonna tank me. Okay, another ballistic turning on there. There we go. 
that was a pretty quick fight despite the Abaddon holding on. Uh, as I said, that guy, Abaddon, Abaddons are actually quite meaty, dangerous ships, uh, a bit like the Raven Striker itself. People can probably underestimate it. Um, but some of the toughest fights I've had have been against Abaddons, even Abaddons combined with Ravens. Um, so they've got a very good tank. They can put out a lot of damage at the same time. Uh, if I was lasers focused, I'd definitely be going with Abaddon before, over an APOC. All right, so let's jump in to the next one. Good start for the evening. But that was more by luck than skill, to be honest. And what have we got coming up next? Again, I have to get ready to get my tank on quickly. Okay, so we've got a Raven Striker there. I think that's going to be the primary. And there's a Cyclone as well. So we're going to go for the Raven Striker first. It could be tanky, but uh, again, it's the only one that's going to be doing a lot of damage from range. Uh, I'm going to actually orbit. I should have maybe possibly taken the cyclone first, I don't know. Um, we shall see. Let's have a look at who's the rattlesnake pilot. I can't really read it. Woof or something. Okay, as soon as some damage starts landing on the raven, I will hit my ballistics. Maybe there is, maybe this cyclone is a guardian. Hang on, let's have a look at this. Yeah, actually the cyclone is a guardian, so um, that's why we didn't appear that we were doing any damage at all. Oops. I'm gonna start moving away because uh, I don't want that. I don't want that ray of rattlesnake getting onto me too early. Okay, let's get our ballistics on, which we weren't using so far. We are going into the rattlesnake, or oh, sorry, into the cyclones. Is there any damage coming in from them? Not really. So, the raven is going to go down. Well, the raven is down. We're going to take on the cyclone directly now. And then we will start locking up the rattlesnake. So it'll take a little bit of time for my first flight to reach him. And again, let's bang on the ballistic, bang on the ballistic on there. So I've got two ballistics on now. Uh, hit for 10,000, 12,000, and he's dead. So in terms of the rattlesnake, we'll Again, just drift out, keep going out of his range. In fact, I'm going to turn off my shield boosters for a waste cap for now. That won't make much difference, but. And then you never know. This guy could be doing something surprising. But looking at the amount of shield going off every second, I mean, he could be armor tank, but I think that's kind of unlikely. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my ballistics to cycle again. But I don't think I'm gonna have to wait too long. In fact, <laughs> it's possible this rattlesnake has turned off. He kind of realizes it's a losing fight and may have turned off his shields, which is something, you know, if your shields and hardeners, if you know you're going to lose, there's no way to win a fight, then you might as well do that and just end the fight that little bit quicker for everybody. Now, I've done that on a couple of occasions where basically the situation was actually hopeless. So anyway, let's jump in again. We'll see how many we can get in tonight. The record's been six, I think, within the 30 minutes. And we're still under 10 minutes here. So if we have another couple, two or three fast ones, we might be able to hit a record. So I am going to miss this DIR reflections when it finishes. Um, 
I had a bit of a discussion the other day about the loyalty points, which, again, I haven't actually hit the max for this week yet, so I'm still trying to grind that. I haven't had much chance to play. Um, somebody mentioned that you can get the uh, loyalty point nano core if you reach a certain rank, but I don't think you're getting any ranks in the DIR Reflections gameplay. Um, so that might still be unlocked for me until I jump into the other faction warfare mode, which is not something I've been that interested in. Um, but I might have to do that, as I will have nearly 2 million loyalty points. Okay, so we've got APOC. Okay, APOC, Abaddon and Makero, which is quite an interesting team. Again, APOC is my primary, just because of the amount of damage they put out. You want to clear them quickly. Uh, I'm going to start orbiting again, just in case APOC starts shooting. The material is coming in very quickly. So what I'm going to do, you know, they're shooting here. Let's get my target painters on. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop moving away. I mean, that actually helps the APOC hit me, but I think considering how quickly that material is coming in, I want to do that. So actually, let's get my I'm going to put two ballistics on there, which isn't the most efficient, but again, I want to get that APOC off the field soon, and the material will be the secondary. I'm 50% shield, as you can see here. The APOC will go down soon. Oh, drifting a little bit out of range, but there we go. So we've got a little bit of time. It's orbit. This guy, two kilometers, orbit two kilometers, and we will have some webs on him. Okay, he's just, is he coming into the web range? He is coming into web range on those other two accounts. I can put a damage control on there. Let's focus fire, so my drone's going on him as well. The Abaddon's coming in. So it's gonna be a bit of a race now. I think that I'm definitely gonna lose one Raven. Actually, on these two, I can turn off for now. Yeah, the material is pretty tanky. Let me see. I'm just going to go at a different angle here. Maybe it might help a little bit. But no, they are taking me down quickly. But the material will be losing his shield shortly. Yeah, the material. Who's going to go down first? The material or me? Looks like me. Yep. Uh, the Macario's popped as well. And now it's on to the Abaddon. So it's two Ravens versus an Abaddon. Uh, unfortunately, I hadn't locked him. So that was a bit of a mistake. I need to turn on. So the good thing is he's gone on for my, onto my more tanky uh, version. What I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to approach the... And this guy is going to orbit here. Uh, actually, no, maybe he will go in as well. Let's get a ballistic on. Focus fire. Focus fire. Let's put the camera on here so you can see him. So, yeah, he's, he's pretty tanky. Um, he is hitting my ship with slightly more tanking, as in that it has a damage control which I've activated, so he's taking about 10% of shield off one of my ravens. It's a very nice ship. I mean, when I used to play EVE Online, basically I was a big aimer. In fact, I played EVE Online for, well, I still got the counts actually, since 2003. And my characters, I have three characters in that game as well, and none of them uh, are, can fly anything other than aimer ships. <laughs> so EVE Echoes is a bit of a diversion for me. So yeah, this guy is well tanked. Uh, again, I'm going to slam on another ballistic on there. Wow, this guy's very well tanked. Obviously with pulses. Uh, let's actually approach this guy. Uh, wow, he's whizzing around. Has he got an MWD on? Oh, it looks like he's switched target, which is fine if he wants to waste. I mean, it's not like it's not like either of my ships 
Wow, this guy is super tanky, really is well tanked. Um, I haven't cracked him yet. Are my drones on him? No, they're not. Let's just try that again. Looks like I'm getting into his armor a little bit now. Looks like I've done enough damage to go through his shield extenders. Let's put another ballistic on there. So, right at, at this moment in time, he's, he's back onto another round of armor. I don't know, armor extenders, which I don't know how many he's got, three or four. But again, he's got very good tank, considering he's got, let me see, he's had one armor extender. Oh, no, they're not armor extenders, of course, something else on armor plates. He's had one. I'm now hitting his main body, so he's got very high resist as well. So, and he is shooting this guy now. My other ship is now fully wrecked again. Uh, I've just turned off his shield booster, so I'm back up to 100% shield on my other ship. So it doesn't look like he can win, but it certainly looks like uh, he's a pretty good ship. That's why, again, I'm happy I went for the Macario first. If I'd gone for this guy and the Macario was just kind of shooting me, I wouldn't have killed this guy very quickly and then the Macario would have been blasting me. Um, so it would have been very nasty, but again, Abaddon's are a ship that really, I always tend to leave the last Here we go. Uh, he's on about 50% armor now. Let me check. Now I can put a ballistic on the ship. He's now reduced me to about 60% shield on one of my ships and he's on about 50% armor. So again, very, very uh, nice setup. He is, I mean, a, a part of his tank does seem to be speed tank. I don't know if he's using an AB on there, but it definitely seems to be, yeah, some kind of, he's reducing some of the incoming damage by speed tanking. So when the boundary, which will take a while, closes up a little bit, then he, he will come back into range of my webs, which will make things a little bit tougher for him. Let's activate another ballistic. Uh, yeah, so he's just kind of drifting under. I'm just wondering whether, it's possible, it's possible that he will take down one of my ravens before I crack his armor. Just such a nice, uh, when those eight lasers go off, I assume it's eight lasers and that was on here, it's a bit of a laser light show. Yeah, so. He is now down to about, I'd say about 20%, but now he's just had his armor plates come back on. So it's possible that this Raven will be going into, into armor before he loses his armor. But the thing is, I've got an active tank and his shield extenders are only good for a certain amount of time. Uh, the other thing is I am actually now sitting, just check where I am. Oh, actually, no, I should be orbiting that a little bit because I'm just sitting there, just making it easy for him to damage me, actually. Let's just orbit at one kilometer, make it a little bit harder for, reduce a bit of his incoming damage. And the same with this guy. Let's orbit at one kilometer. My other ship is just sitting on the beacon, the central beacon. What's this light over here? Interesting, kind of red glow. And let's have a look. Yeah, he's he's now into structure. Uh, again, I've got a couple of ballistics which I forgot to use. So the, the other thing is he's got two newts on my second raven, the one he's now reduced down to about 20%. He might be hoping that I will run out of cap, but actually these ravens are actually very good. Their missiles aren't using cap. Um, Missiles aren't using cap, they've got a nice solid bank of a thing, they have a good recharge time, and there you go. Um, so even though he had two newts on me the whole time, it isn't enough to actually kill my cap. Oh 
Okay, so let's jump on to the next one. Let's see the timing. Yeah, that one took a bit longer, so we're up to 19 minutes. So again, depending on how long this one lasts, if we finish before 25, then um, I'll go for one more. But if we, are, we drift over the 25 minute mark, then uh, that'll be the last one for tonight. So let's see what we get. I think considering the speed we jump back in there, I've got a funny feeling we might be against the same team again. Uh-oh, nightmare team. And it's Orc as well. This is going to be a fun one. Okay. Um, it looks like it's going to be a close range one. Let's hit the nightmare. Focus fire. Focus fire. Focus fire. They are approaching. So we do want to move the opposite direction. Let's see where they are. Okay, so we want to go this way. Opposite way to my missiles. Let's do that. Let's approach Harden. Let's approach Harden. Uh, let's get my target painters on. And let's see how tanky this nightmare is. Definitely approaching. Oh, Swiftness. Oh, this is a good team. I'm probably going to be screwed here. Swiftness is the number one on the leaderboard, has been pretty much number one the whole way through. So these guys know what they're doing. They've definitely got a prop mod on that nightmare. They're closing quickly, moving away, give myself a chance. And you can see the nightmare is uh, shield boosting, active shield boosting. So we try and buy as much time as possible. It would be nice to score a win over these guys, but for some reason I doubt it. This is one of those really great teams. And uh, definitely got the pocketbook for it. We are working on that. That nightmare is going down. I need to check if I'm taking any damage on any of my other ships. I am taking on one now, but not much yet. But that Vindicator is coming in. I'm going to lock up the Vindicator as my second retarget. Got to keep working. I'm really just going to have to keep working on the Vindicator. Uh, sorry, on the Nightmare. It's possible I'll bring it down, but... Well, actually, maybe we'll go for the Balgon next. Maybe he's not super tanky. Let's see. Oh, they've got some webs on me now. Yeah, this is going to be a bit hard. Let's get some drones into the bubble. Keep hitting there. And then we will go for the Vindicator as soon as that. Okay, another round of ballistics. They're doing some serious damage here. Yeah, one of my ships is gonna go down. Once that happens, I'm gonna have no chance. Actually, I wonder whether I should switch on to the Vindy now. Actually, maybe we'll do that get some webs on him. I'm going to lose a ship. Yeah, these guys know what they're doing. I'm screwed. take the Vindy down with us possibly yeah but they've got their damage is amazing okay yeah well the Vindy might go down what we'll do is we will go for the is the balcon under the bubble come on Vindy die going on is he back under the uh, he's back under the bubble wow okay fucking nothing we can do here the balcon is moving out yeah I'm screwed uh, let's see is the balcon getting out of the bubble no they're staying inside so they, they were smart know what they're doing
Yeah, down to one chip now. Nothing I can do. Yeah, this is why this guy is the top of the leaderboard. Hmm, possible if I'd stayed on the nightmare, but I don't think so. The amount of damage coming in from those other two were just so, so high. Maybe, uh, but to be honest, uh, when I, as soon as I lost one ship, that was there was no way I was going to break down the nightmare's tank. So, yeah. I might as well use that as I'm going to die shortly. None of them are out of the bubble now, they're all sitting in the bubble. Yeah, this is it. If you've got a good nightmare team, nothing can beat you. Honestly, nothing can beat you. Uh, beat them. Right, there we go. Well done to them. And well done to Swiftness and Kofa. Well, Swiftness, it looks like inevitable victory in this DIR Reflections. Unlucky for me, I got matched with them this evening. There we go. I'll give it a few seconds before I jump in. What's the time on the video? Let's see, do we have enough time for one more? No, actually, that's going to be it for tonight because, uh, yeah, if I do one more, it's going to be well over 30. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed my first uh, on-video loss for, uh, I think, about four or five nights. Um, it was against the number one team, so I am not. don't feel too bad about it. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I'm still salty. All right. Good night, guys. If you did like it, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.